Hello and what's up YouTube? I got this weed eater also known as grass cutter that nobody wants anymore. It has a broken tube and the cost to replace that is almost the same as the new unit. Aside from the broken tube, the engine is also a non-runner. Looking at the carburetor, the primer pump rubber is chipping off. The fuel hose is brittle and is missing one of the hoses. I bought the new primer pump and hoses and installed it to the carburetor. I needed to make sure the engine is running before I even start with the motorized bicycle build. So fixing the engine is the priority. Working with this small two-stroke engine is easy. There are not a lot of parts to go wrong. Anyway, that fixed the engine and it is now running fine. This is my Japanese folding bicycle. There are tons of videos in YouTube of weed eater powered bicycle and most of them will simply mount the engine to the side of the bike, like so. This additional weight offset at one side will make the bike unbalanced. That effect is more noticeable with my small bike, so I thought to do it differently. This is a cheap bicycle rear wheel hub I bought together with a free wheel sprocket. It has built-in bearings at both sides, which comes in handy to what I'm trying to do. I will use this as the spindle of my friction drive. Then I will mount the engine on top of the rear rack like so. Mounting this on the existing rear rack of the bike makes this project a lot easier than fabricating new braces. I need to fabricate some steel pieces such as this bracket that will hold the friction drive spindle. What I do when I need to cut two identical pieces is to temporarily weld the plates together. That way, all the holes I drill and edges that I cut and grind will all line up. I will have to cut a slot in this piece then weld to the rear rack. These are some other pieces that I made. These are tensioners that I will use to push the friction drive spindle to the tire. We'll get back to this later. This is a 13 teeth homemade sprocket I made. And this is the end of the original shaft that came with the engine. The end has splines that connects to the engine output. I bought this motor coupler which is actually a part of a 3D printer. It has a set screw right there. I will use this to connect the sprocket to the engine output. And here is my homemade sprocket already fixed to the spline shaft. I attach it with two bolts and nuts. The coupler is fixed to the shaft via the set screw. I have another video how I made this homemade sprocket, so be sure to check that out. I made a simple L-shaped bracket to hold the weed eater engine.
I will connect the engine to the bracket through the four bolts on the pull starter and another two bolts below the clutch housing. You will also notice the four bolts dangling at the bottom of the bracket. Those will attach to the rear rack. And here it is, the engine attached to the rear rack. The engine output is transmitted to the friction drive spindle by combination of sprockets and roller chain. I can easily adjust the chain tension or alignment by slightly moving the engine bracket relative to the rear rack, then tightening the attaching bolts and nuts. The slot on the brackets holding the spindle allows me to move it up or down. And this tensioner works like a cam that keeps it firmly in contact with the rear tire. You can see that the rear wheel rotates with the spindle. However, the spindle should be rotating at an opposite direction with the rear tire. That causes the freewheel sprocket to disengage on the threads. I simply welded two nails poking at the two dimples at the sprocket and that effectively prevents it from disengaging. I also wrap the spindle with rubber strips to provide better grip. Later, I found out that this is not a long-lasting solution. All that is left to do now is to test this contraption. The engine is only 25 cc, not much power, so I have to pedal if coming from a complete stop. But at full speed, it is faster than I can pedal. There is a lot more room for improvement with this project and I will try to show you that on upcoming videos. Thank you very much for staying this far and I hope to see you soon.